Hey there folks, I've put together a little tutorial series making the, 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 the classic 90s game Battle City, however we're going to make the Battle City clone and it's a game I've put together making use of Python, the Power Game module and object orientated programming. Why I chose to do this project, this game, well basically it was a fantastic game back in the day that had various elements from various genres included into it, it was an action game, you would drive around shooting other tanks, you would then also collect power up abilities which would then level up your tank and um, progress through the different stages with a more and more powerful tank shooting the enemy tanks and successfully passing each stage the other thing that was included in the game was a level editor which i thought was a fantastic thing that we could go ahead and build together as well just to demonstrate and just to work on various elements in programming so as you can see it's a fairly uh, entertaining game with the uh, code walking around, you've got your enemy tanks driving around, you've got your player tank. Currently I have a shield around. So as you can see, shoot the tanks. Oh, there's a power up ability, it's a level up life, extra life. My HUD updates, I shoot the tanks. Once we carry on playing, oh, my player has died. I respawn in. Oh my goodness. Now one of the other things you'll note is the um So yes. So as mentioned we're starting the game, we're starting off from the full start screen. Um there's a score screen, there's even a level editor where you can go in and create your own levels, put in the various tiles. So we want to put in a bunch of bricks, you can make your own tiles, make your own levels. Say so now I wanted to play this stage, you would create your own level, then you would go in and you could play it. And there would be my level. Fun times. This was also a two player game. As you can see there's a game over screen. From the game over screen it takes you to your score screen, which would then calculate your score, update the screen as well as having a two-player mode. Great. I hope you guys join me on this tutorial series and I hope you have just as much fun making it and following along and learning as much as I had presenting it for you.